Hi, I'm Chris from Future Music. We're here on the Focusrite Novation stand with Casey, who's going to take us through the new Focus, uh, Focusrite iTrack dock. And so I'll hand you over to Casey. So yeah, so like we said, we're looking at the Focus Track, the Focusrite iTrack dock. Um, in a nutshell, it's really just the simplest way to get professional audio from the real world onto an iPad. Um, so you're looking at the Focusrite iTrack dock. You've got two ins, two outputs. Um, a dedicated instrument input, so if you're a guitarist or a bassist, you can jack right into the box itself and get busy. Um, focus right mic priest, two of them. Uh, as you can see up here, we've got uh, direct monitoring, so there's low, lat low latency recording. Um, it works with Lightning iPads, so that's either the iPad Mini or the I or the large iPad. There, if I go ahead and I unplug this, actually let me not unplug this. Let me show you at the end so I can show you how it fits. Um, but Again, it's really the simplest way to go ahead and actually get busy and get, get creative on your iPad. So we have right now where you're looking at Cubases. So another interesting feature about the iTrack dock is we have MIDI in and out by USB. So I can actually have a hardware controller plugged into the unit and I can open a program like Cubases, not only record audio, but get busy with my, with my MIDI uh, production as well. So another cool feature is it also charges the iPad when it's plugged in. So we all know how, how energy hungry an iPad can be when you're doing MIDI music production on it. So you don't have to worry about that when you're using the iTrack dock. Um, should be available Q2, 199 is the price. So any 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 uh, keyboard that would usually work with a camera connection kit will work via this? Exactly. Well, there's no camera connection kit re required because it's, it's a USB device. Okay. Plug directly in with USB and you're good to go. Okay. And um, what was it, I mean, what was the story of developing this? Because obviously, there's a good chance you can kind of get burnt if Apple changed the connector and things like that. I know with the Elysis one, that could have been an issue. Right. Well, we had a lot of, some people have come by asking why didn't we go with a 30-pin connector. Well, Lightning Connection is, is the newest connection. It should be around for a while, and we're looking to the future, not the past. So, you know, it's time for us to really move things forward and, and stay on the cutting edge of technology. And so, so with that in mind, it works with the iPad Air and everything like that? Everything. All the latest ones? Exactly. Any, okay. any Lightning Connection, it, it'll work with. And. Um, you know, what kind of, does it, has it got battery power or is it, is it just? It's no battery power, it's, uh, it's normal uh, AC plug. Okay. So we just thought we'd load the tape software just to take a quick look at that because we've never seen it. So maybe just show us this, uh, this freeware. So our tape, our free tape app is actually a, a physical representation, rep representation of a two-track tape. Um, so it, it's really just really simple recording. So if you're a singer-songwriter and you just want to sit down and get your ideas recorded very quickly, go ahead, plug in. Hit record and, and, and go. Um, you can go ahead and you can export it uh, via uh, your email or Dropbox. Uh, so that's your way you would get it off your iPad. And that's the tape app. So if I go ahead, I wanted to show you also how we can connect with a larger iPad. So if I unplug this, moves here to accommodate your different sizes for your iPad mini or the full size iPad. That's how we get around different sizes to make sure that we're compatible with everything you might want to use.